Hey, PNG Assassin here for a free NAS tutorial. So you'll just want to start out by going to freenas.org and going to download. And then downloading whatever hardware you have. So I have, I'll be virtualizing a 64-bit version. But you can do legacy 32-bit, alpha version 64, and 32-bit if needed. You can just click download. So I'll be going over to the virtual box manager. We'll create a new machine. It's actually BSD, and I'll be doing 64-bit BSD. So I'll be using one gig of RAM, and it's recommended to use one gig of RAM per terabyte of storage. So we'll be fine with one gig of RAM. And in the hard drive section. You actually want two hard drives because FreeNAS uses the entire hard drive. So let's say you had a terabyte hard drive, you'd actually FreeNAS would actually format all of that and would not save any of it for storage. So it's recommended to use a USB stick or you can partition it manually within the disk itself. So I'll just be using VHD. Dynamic. We'll do uh let's just do eight gigs. Create then go to settings, storage, new hard disk, create a new hard disk, VHD. Then we can just do maybe 20 gigs for now. Just create. We'll also want to add the actual ISO. So free NAS and 64-bit, 64-bit. Let's just turn off the audio and go to network and we'll do a bridged adapter. And actually, we have to expand advanced and turn promiscuous mode on because we'll be using this later for plugins. And just click OK, start, and boot from the disk. So, as you can see there, you could wait for the timer to count down or you could just press enter. And then it'll come up to this little box so we'll just do install and upgrade you can just click enter and then select the smaller hard drive and click enter and just proceed with the installation Now the installation is done, and just click OK, and we'll do uh, shutdown. Now we'll go to settings, storage, we'll just unmount that so we don't accidentally boot from it. Start, then just press enter, or you can wait and it'll automatically boot into FreeBSD, FreeNAS, whichever you may call it. Just click enter or wait for that and it'll be booting into your new free NAS system. As you can see it has received a DHCP address of 100 or 108 by mistake. So we'll be just typing that in the URL address in the next video.